Hey, Dr. Kevin Skinner. Early in my marriage and throughout my life, I've heard a term that I want to talk about because I think that it's actually a concept that may not be as helpful for us as we think. The general idea is don't go to bed angry with your spouse or partner. Now, I want to just deconstruct that because many times uh, in our lives, it's late at night, our energy's low, but we've had some kind of conflict or disagreement with our partner, spouse. And as a result, you know, some people have been taught you don't go to bed angry. Well, when your energy is low and you don't have the mental strength to have a meaningful and difficult conversation about something that you haven't obviously agreed on, what's the probability that you're going to solve that problem at midnight or one or two in the morning? So I would like to suggest that we try an alternative. And so instead of the statement, don't go to bed angry, Go to bed with a clear communication that you're going to work to solve the problem when your energy is higher. A few years ago, Dr. Roy Baumeister, in his book Willpower, suggests that when our energy is low, we're more likely to fight, we're more likely to eat more, we're more likely to do things that are not healthy for us and our relationships. So the concept of don't go to bed angry, if I don't have enough willpower, if I don't have enough mental strength, or what he refers to as ego strength, maybe the best thing I could do in my relationship is to say, I'm committed to solving this. I just can't tonight. Can we do it? And this is the critical part. Can we talk about this tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon when we have more time? The critical part is if you're not going to talk about it tonight, communicate with value. I care about this relationship and I want to solve it. And let's set up a time to do it. Those two things are probably a better strategy than trying to resolve it at midnight, one or two in the morning because you've been told don't go to bed angry. More often than not, when that happens, couples do and say things that are hurtful to them because their energy is so low. So if I could revise that suggestion and say, let's communicate with value. I love you. I care about you right now. I'm upset and angry. Can we talk about it tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon? Set up the time. Come back to it and reflect on the things that you can do while you're apart to solve the problem, not to prove your point. Anyway, I hope this tip is helpful for you as you try to resolve relationship issues. Thank you very much for spending this time with me.